Greetings out there in YouTube land from the planet Earth. Some of you might wonder why I say in the old days God picked his servants, you know, not the men. And today the men pick themselves and decide, and many others tell them, oh, I'm going to do this for God, and I'm going to do that for God, without ever bothering to ask God, what do you want me to do for you? Because sadly, men have been thinking to know better than God for a long time, right? And that's not the case, right? It's not bad to want to do things for the Lord, but a good idea is to ask the Lord what he wants you to do. Because, trust me, you don't know what, what's better than God is, okay? God knows what he wants. You have no idea what God wants better than he does, right? A good example of why I say this right here is look at what happened to Moses there. His brother Aaron was the priest, right? And Aaron's sons, right? What did these yahoos, after, after the Ten Commandments, were thrown down, the idol and everything? you got to remember, these guys, oh, they're arguing with Moses. Stop, and they could do a better job. They wanted to be the priest. They wanted to, oh, we're going to be the we're gonna be the ones talking with God, you know? And God had him come there. What happened? You think God listened to them? Well, no. They were messing with God and the people he picked. Right? They wanted to be the ones talking with God. Maybe they thought Moses was doing them wrong. Maybe they thought, hey, we're going to go up there and tell God what we're going to do, and he's going to do what we want. I have no idea what was on their wicked minds, but God did. He knew what was in their wicked hearts, and they thought they knew better than him who should be talking for God. Well, guess what happened to them? Open your Bible, and you already know. They all died for daring to disagree with God on that. God picked his servants in the Bible for a reason. He wanted them to say things, right? But others think they know better than God. Oh, I'm going to do this for God, and I'm going to do that for God, without ever stopping to think that that's what God wants you to do in the first place. I learned from a mistake I made similar to that, and that's why I told him one of these things, right? But God picks his servants, and he tells them what to say. A lot of people didn't like what they heard, and I know a lot of you don't like what you're hearing from me. But I don't care about pleasing you. What I care about is pleasing God. And if I can wake you up and pull you from the fires of hell, then I've got a victory. As far as I'm concerned, that's a victory. Because God told John to sing from the wilderness, and he did. A lot of people didn't like what they heard, but he kept his faith. He did right by God. right? And you know where John is right now. He may have lost his head, but he did right by God. And Jesus loved him very much. Think about that. Are you doing right by God? Are you doing what he wants you to do? Are you sure you're doing what he wants you to do? Have you asked him? Don't think you know better than the people God himself actually picks. Many are called, but few are chosen. And don't mess with God's chosen. Even Satan is so smart he doesn't do that. He may mess up on the rest, but he's too smart to mess with one of God's chosen. You're not even allowed to touch a hair on their heads. I don't know if you're chosen or not, but you, some of you might already know. But if you're going to do something for the Lord, ask him first if he wants you to do it. He may have something else in mind for you, and all you're doing is wasting time. You don't have much of that left. Get right with God and give him a call today. And ask him what he wants for you to do today. Bye-bye.